Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me video that we are doing in the classic sized vertical layout happy planner and we are just going to jump right into it because I'm excited for what we are going to do for this week. So we are planning for the week of November 16th through the 22nd. So let's take these out. And then I'm trying something new this week. I found a new sticker company at Michael's. Well, they have an Etsy shop and things like that, but I found this at Michael's and it's Shine Sticker Studio by Craft Smith. And I am excited to try this out because I don't exactly know what planner it's made for but I'm going to try to use it in this classic size happy planner. And what I loved about it is the colors. The colors are really bright. They have this silver foiling on it, which just shines when you tilt it in the light. That is so pretty. And I'm going to try a different kind of spread than I usually do. So I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm mostly excited. So. The first new thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put down headers for the days of the week. So I usually just leave them as they are, but we have these headers in here, so I'm going to use them. And let's see if it covers up the actual heading. I might need to get out my tweezers for this. Okay, we have that. Let's see how Wednesday, if it covers up all of Wednesday. that one and let's put down the last one that looks super cute that is so cute let's zoom in just a little bit yeah that looks so cute okay Let's continue. These are cut almost perfectly for the size of this, uh, these boxes, which I didn't expect because they have like a picture of them using the stickers on the front and a completely different kind of planner than this one. So I didn't think the stickers would fit, but I'm glad to find that they do. But I do have to put them down carefully because they are, they're like perfectly exactly the right size. So if I put it off center, you'll be able to tell really easily and then the other stickers won't fit next to it. down a little bit too much. Okay, we have those. And then the next thing I'm going to do is put down these, it's like washi tape. I'm going to put those down. 
at the top. So I'm going to put it here. And it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut it. These stickers are really thick too, so I have to cut them multiple times because I don't want to cut my paper. Okay, we have that. And I think there's another one. Yeah, right here. This one, I'm going to take all the way across. But first, let me white out this notes area. So I'm going to start it at this end. It was almost perfectly aligned. Like that. This is a lot different than what I usually do, so I'm a little bit nervous about this. So then we are going to I think we're going to start, oh wait, no, first I'm going to put down the bottom washi. I'm going to put these down at the bottom. And I'm actually going to put them at the very bottom. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have left this little piece on. So let's see if we can just put it back on there. Because this one goes all the way to the end and I don't want to have to cut all of the stickers. So I'm just going to put this back on and see, see how that works out. It does look a little bit weird um, because it goes outside of the date covers, but that's okay. Then we have the other one. Let's make sure these line up. Yeah, I think these line up. Perfect, that's super cute. Then we're gonna start putting down boxes in the middle. So we have the ones I'm going to put on the side are these trackers, this one for meal planning, 
The meal planning I'm going to put at the bottom. Then I'm going to put a label above it. I'm going to put this one at the very top here. We have these other washi tapes. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the stickers like all close up to myself. Um, so we have these other washi tape uh, stickers that we are going to use. And I'm going to line it up with this. Well, first, let's see how much space the boxes take up. So let's see. This one right here. I want to use this one here. And we're going to use this one on the same area on the other side. We have those. We do have this other washi tape that I might use, but we're not going to use it just yet. Actually, you know what? I'll use it here. going to use this bullet point right here. We're going to use this coffee time because I usually have my coffee in the morning. So we're going to put coffee time, then we're going to use this half box right there. We're going to use this half box over here. got a little bit crooked but I'm not going to take all of them up because these stickers they're thick and they don't really come up that easily so I'm once I put it down it's staying down I'm not even gonna try to lift it up there is a weekend sticker 
right here that I'm going to use on the weekend. We're gonna put it right here at the top. That looks cute. We have this one that says shine bright. See, where can I put it? I didn't leave the right amount of space for here, so I know I said I wasn't going to take up these stickers, but that one was really bothering me. So we're going to put it here instead. I need something else to put here. Let's see if this one will fit. It kind of fits. It kind of overlaps with the next sticker, but that's okay. So the sidebar is completely done. As you can see, that's how it looks. Interesting. One thing I can already tell is that this kit is taking a lot longer to put down than my stickers usually take to put down. But I do love playing with stickers, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying this video might be a little bit longer than it usually is because these stickers are very precise and um, it take it's taking a while to put them down. So. This one right here, if I can put it on straight, on Tuesday, I'm going to put down a sticker for my class. I should put one down on Monday, too. But I don't know how many appointment stickers I have. So let's just put this one down on Thursday. Laundry, I'm going to put on Sunday. Planning. This one that says planning time, I'm going to put down on Saturday because that's when I do my planning. We have these stay hydrated stickers, which I'm going to put at the bottom of each of these. Let's hope I have two more. I don't. Okay. That's interesting. They should have put two more in there. But that's all right because we also have these meal stickers, which I will use here instead. So we have those. Let's 
just use this one here. We have these other checklists. Let's use the pink one instead. And then we're going to use the blue checklist on this one. this checklist like that let's put a label on this one let's put this remember this is a lot a lot of stickers so many stickers then let's do this let's put a to-do sticker and cover it up just a little bit like this Let's also put a to-do sticker on Sunday. And let's use this rainbow checklist. This one I just noticed is crooked. Let's see. We're almost done. I think the only things I have left to use are these half boxes because the full boxes won't fit. So, let's do that. I need something else here. Let's use this one. I need something else here.
let's use this one of her on her laptop. And I want to put this sticker over the other one, so let's pull this up. And do it like that. And then... use this one No, let's change this one out. Nope, that's not going to work. Trying to find something to put down here. Okay, there we go. This is very busy. There's a lot going on. I do love that I have a lot of room to, like it's a lot of stickers, but I still have a lot of room to write. So I'm excited about that, but let's put this back in our planner, take a final look and see what we, see what we think about it. Okay, so this is the spread I created in last week's video. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And um, I haven't written my plans down in it yet because I'm filming this during this week. So once we enter into next week, I will plan out my entire week and write down my plans. But that's why I haven't written in it yet. But I just want to look at this to compare how this spread looks compared to this spread. The amount of stickers is way different. The amount of time it took is way different. This spread took half an hour to put together. Usually it takes me 10, 15 minutes maybe to put my spreads together. This one took half an hour and I do love it. I love how it looks. I love the bright colors. I love how precise the stickers were. They actually fit into this classic size happy planner really well. So I love that. It just, it was tedious. I usually really have fun putting down all the stickers and in the beginning this was really fun to do but it got a little bit tedious with all of the separate stickers. Am I happy I did it? Yes. Will I use another kit like this again? Yes. Will I do it every every week? No. <laughs> but I do, I do love how this turned out and I'm excited to write my plans down in it. I'm especially excited for these trackers down on each of the days um, that say stay hydrated. It's like a water tracker. I'm going to see if I actually use those because if I do, that will be A plus because I don't drink enough water. But that's another story for another day. So 
overall, I love how this turned out. There's a loud car outside. Let's wait till it passes. Okay. Overall, I love how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.